everyone. Are you having trouble figuring out how to pair a new phone with your Alpine Singleton head unit? Well, if you've got the UTE 73BT, the CDE 172BT, or the CDE 175BT, these instructions should be pretty helpful. This is a common issue I see with my clients, whether it's because you got a new phone or maybe you're just having some issues with the Bluetooth connectivity, there's an easy way to clear the memory and repair your device. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna kinda of put it in a standby mode. And you'll notice if you just cycle source, that's just gonna go through all the different sources on the radio. To put it in the standby mode, I'm going to press and hold this button right here that says sleep. Press and hold that. Radio stays on and now you see the clock. Now that I'm in the standby mode, I can press and hold the setup button right here with the little music icon. And the first option that came up was Bluetooth, um, probably because that was the last thing I was on, but this is where you would find general, display, Bluetooth, that's the one we want. So I'm gonna push the knob in to select it. And again, the first option that usually comes up is pairing, um, but we already have my device paired. And if you do go into this, you'll notice that you can only have two phones connected to this radio. So if you've already got one in the primary slot, that's why you might be having difficulty pairing a second phone and the first slot is for hands-free and for audio streaming. The second slot is just for audio streaming only. So we're gonna go back by hitting that little arrow and we're gonna scroll over to Bluetooth initial. Select that by pushing the knob in. First option that comes up says no, turn it to yes. Push the knob in. What that is doing is wiping the Bluetooth memory from the radio completely. At the same time, I am going to go into the Bluetooth settings on my phone. So now I'm in the settings of my phone. I'll go over to Bluetooth. I have a lot of devices in here, but I'm gonna select that CDE172BT. I'm gonna forget that device. And now I'm gonna repair it. Now, why would you wanna repair it? If you're having issues sometimes after a software update, it's a good idea to clear the memory from both devices and repair from scratch. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go back and select Bluetooth and turn the knob to Pairing, set device one. You'll notice device two is available as well. I'm gonna set device one. Now that this is flashing, that means that this model number should become available on my phone, which it is. So I'm gonna tap that. Once you see that phone icon and that little music icon, then you know that you're paired for both Bluetooth audio streaming and telephone pro profile. Now, it's also possible that you may need to do a software update for the radio. I will link in the description below where you can check for a software update. And then to do a software update, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna download it from Alpine's website um, that they have specific for these updates, put it on a USB drive, and then you would go into that sleep mode again by pressing and holding this and then press and hold setup. And then you're gonna go, I believe it's under general settings. Look at just demo, firmware, there you go. So that's where you would go if you were going to update the firmware as well. Also, in addition to checking the firmware on your radio, it's a good idea to make sure your phone's operating system and all of your apps are up to date. If you're having streaming issues with one particular app and your apps and operating system are up to date, try deleting the problematic app and reinstalling it. This is how I usually resolve any app specific Bluetooth streaming issues. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you can leave any questions or comments below. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this, please help me out by hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you next time.